Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this uh, splash screen with uh, Lottie animation and also an animation on this text. And uh, also it has light mode. Let me change it to light mode. Let me close this and opening it again. So you can see the animation and also a small animation on this text. And after five seconds, it will go to the onboarding screen, which is another screen that we will create it in the next video. So if you want to learn it and you are ready, let's jump in. Before I start recording, I've done some of the stuff to make the video shorter. Uh, here in the build.getter, down below I have two dependencies, one for Lotte animation and the other one for the navigation. And here on the top, I've changed the target SDK to 34 and compile SDK to 34 as well. In the in this package, I have created two screens, one onboarding screen one, and the, the other one is a splash screen. In the onboarding screen, I have uh, only a box and a text to just show that we are inside the onboarding screen and in the splash screen I don't have anything and we'll write the codes here together in the main activity I have done the stuff for the navigation here I have the nav controller the nav host and three compose for three screens uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to build the onboarding screen and from this onboarding screen We are going to the home screen. So we don't need this for now and I haven't created the file for it But uh, as the start destination, I have this uh, splash screen So directly when we are opening the application uh, This screen will open and we want to implement the logic and the animation and the text and everything inside it and later after a couple of seconds automatically it should go to the onboarding screen now let's go to the splash screen and start with designing the layout and then we will check it once and after that we are going to create the logic to automatically go from one screen to the other screen um, here I need a column and uh, as always we need a modifier fill max size and the background if is uh, system in dark mode color dark gray else color dot fight okay and vertical arrangement arrangement center and horizontal alignment alignment center horizontally okay now here I'm going to uh, create another composable function for loading the animation. Then here I'm going to pass a modifier And the size is 400.dp, importing dp, 
then here uh, before i record i have also added uh, this uh, raw folder and here i have my json base uh, animation i have to mention if you haven't watched video about the loti animation you can find the link down below in the description and on the top and uh, here i'm going to pass our dot oh dot mobile app and let's mention what it is okay let's create this composable and creating the parameter inside it okay here after this composable i need a spacer and we need just modifier dot height maybe 25 dot dp and you can change it based on the application that you have and the text to write uh, uh, a name of the application or whatever you want in this case uh, i wrote let's make an app and the font size should be a bit uh, larger so 32.sp i think it's enough importing the sp and that's it for here now let's load the animation here we have whatever we need and we are going to create the composition by remember uh, loti composition and here the aspect will be loti composition aspect dot raw resource and here i'm going to pass the anim let's import it and here we are done uh, finally plot animation the composition will be this composition we don't need the progress i'm going to delete it and iteration loti constant dot iterate forever and one more thing we need the modifier the modifier will be equal to modifier this and the size and uh, whatever we need is passed to this modifier already okay so uh, we have created the layout and if i install the application we have to see the text and the loti animation and even if i change the mode to dark mode we have to see the dark background let's check it Thank you. 
Okay, here we have it. And it remains here constantly because we didn't write any code to go to the onboarding screen. And it works. Uh, let's uh, change the mode to dark. And okay as you can see the text color is changed and the background color also is changed um let's change it back to the light mode and now we can continue so we have whatever we need for the layout and now i'm going to write the code to uh, go from this screen to the other screen we need launch effect and as i told you when we want to execute something after composition of this uh, function immediately we are going to use launch effect this is the most simple uh, definition that i can give you for the launch effect and whatever we have between this block will be immediately executed uh, so we need a delay and uh, i think three seconds is enough it's based on milliseconds so three thousand will be equal to three seconds then i'm going to use the nav controller dot to navigate from this screen to onboarding screen let me check what was the route of it uh, it was onboarding we just need to copy this and paste it here and uh, after three seconds it should automatically go to the onboarding screen let's see it okay we are in the onboard scene but when i'm pressing back button again we are uh, seeing uh, this uh, splash skin and it's not good so here before uh, this nav controller after the delay we have to write nav controller dot pop back stack that means clear the back stack for us and let's check it again we are in the onboarding screen pressing back and the application will close now let's implement uh, uh, a small effect a small animation on this text I'm going to show you how to do this and uh, you can implement it on whatever you want even if you are using uh, icon or any image instead of this animation you can implement that on this animation as well so we need to work with the alpha here uh, as you remember when I was talking about uh, text and other elements of the Jetpack Compose uh, I showed you in the video that we were talking about modifier we had a feature calling modifier dot alpha and as you can see the type of alpha is float the value of it can be something between 0f to 1f 0f is fully transparent and we cannot see it and 1f is fully visible so if we are moving from 0f to 1f we can see a nice animation like loading animation and uh, that's good so let's implement it here we are going to create a value calling it alpha and equals to remember here animatable 
and the value the default value of it can be 0f and now let's import it um, we need this one with uh, android x compose animate dot core this one and now it's okay and here i'm going to pass this alpha uh, but uh, we have to work on it the still is not done inside the launch effect when uh, we are opening this uh, application automatically the splash screen will open and the launch effect will execute and inside it before we are navigating to the second screen we have to change the value of this alpha from 0f to 1f so alpha dot animate to 1f and then uh, animate a spec tween then parentheses and here as you can see uh, let me import it we need the delay and uh, the other thing are not necessary so uh, the value of the alpha will be changing from 0f to 1f but we should tell uh, how long we want it to take let's do it for now for 4000 and change this to 5000 in order to see it then we will reduce it and the alpha here dot value sorry i forgot this so we have created the animatable alpha from 0 to 1f within four seconds it will be changing and then we pass it to modifier of this text so if you are using uh, any other different things uh, instead of text inside the modifier of this uh, widget you have the alpha and you can pass this to that alpha and it will work let's check it okay look at this text it appears so slowly within four seconds and after five seconds you are going to onboarding and i'm going to press back and the application will close so let's change the timing to make it better i think uh, maybe three seconds for whole splash screen is good and here maybe 2000 500 millisecond and now let's check it again okay it appears going to onboard in a screen and that's it now let's change it to dark mode to see if it works or not okay everything works perfect okay that was everything that i wanted to tell you here in this video about the splash screen and in the next video we are going to implement the onboarding screen so if you are new here please hit the subscribe button uh, to receive a notification about new videos and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up to make me happy and give me energy if you have any question any suggestion write them down below in the comment box and i will be so happy to read and answer them have a good day bye, -bye.